is one of the great operas of the 20th century, written by Alban Berg in the late 1920s and early 1930s and left incomplete in the orchestration um, at his death. And it's an opera, I think, that is about the fragility or, or impossibility or fragmentation of desire. It's about Lulu, who during the course of the opera goes through many lovers and several husbands, and each time there's an impossibility. Lulu can't be the woman that the men imagine her to be or project onto her. She can never fulfill all the desires of both being the femme fatale and the faithful, quiet wife. I'm very happy to be working with Marlise Peterson again. She sang the role of Pamina in a production of The Magic Flute I did many years ago. And she had, even then, an extraordinary certainty and confidence and strength that I think will be fantastic in the role of Lulu. And also wants to find within the production the logic of the character, which may not be the identical to how she has done it before. So I'm really looking forward to the excitement of that exploration. The question is, how does one put this onto stage? The approach that I have with the collaborators I'm working with, and as with the production of The Nose, it's very much a collaboration between construction of the video, the set designer, the costume designer. So there are a number of projections and images and drawings, not so much animations, more static drawings or slightly shifting drawings, which sometimes are drawings of Lulu, sometimes drawings of her lovers and husbands, sometimes wider scenes. But each of them with the possibility that they can fragment, they can fall apart, they can lose their stability. Ink is the primary medium of the production. Sometimes ink drawing is translated into woodcuts or lino cuts, but essentially the vehemence of a black brushstroke, trying to find some equivalent visually to the violence of the opera in the marks and the way they are used. It's almost as if ink becomes the black blood that is spilt throughout the, the production. The set has to work in two ways. It has to work as the receiver of the projection, so it has to be surfaces on which we can see the projections. Not necessarily flat, but it also has to work as a theatrical space of the different rooms, the artist's studio, the garret in London, the gaming room in Paris, Dr. Schoen's house. And so the furniture and the flats and the walls have to both have an art deco attention to detail and finish and material, and also work in a way that they can reflect the projected images. James Levine, feels an extremely solid part of the production. Someone who knows the opera so well, who is so passionately devoted to it, that one couldn't ask for a better uh, leader of the orchestra and of the musical direction of the opera. Mm -hmm.